up everybody? Welcome, welcome to the channel. For all my current subscribers, thank you so much. And for anybody that's kind of stumbled along this, maybe doing a search on products and reviews, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe below, hit the bell button, and by doing that you will be alerted every time I upload a review, a podcast, or anything of the like to the channel. And again, welcome, welcome. Today we're looking at pre-workout MHN Aries, God of the Gym. So a little bit of history here. For those of you that are pre-workout stim heads, Aries has been around for a little while now. A lot of different uh, renditions. Unfortunately, in the past, I've never had the pleasure of trying any of the previous versions. But I don't know what happened behind the scenes, so now we're looking at this under a new umbrella of MHN. Okay, so here's an interesting story. I'm going to quickly put the ingredient panel up here, and we'll kind of chat through that. So when you look at it, uh, first and foremost, it's a prop blend. And you know my thoughts on a prop blend. But from what I understand, dialoguing with the guys over at the company here, Aries back in the day was a fully transparent open label. And they were copied and ripped off. I don't know how many companies or whatever, which forced them to change things up and go to a prop blend. It's the first time I've ever heard um, somebody legitimizing or giving a good reason why they went prop instead of the opposite they start prop and they're afraid it's going to get ripped off and that they're covering something so very plausible and i appreciate the honesty by the guys over there so with this when you look at it okay 360 milligrams of caffeine for me great dose didn't feel stimmed jittered out just a really good comfortable kind of high i guess i'll say so i enjoyed it I'm probably about six, seven, eight scoops into this and loving it so far. Six trademarked ingredients. Again, very positive. Um, the guys were nice enough to share with me their citrulline malate at six grams. Great dosage. 3.2 uh, grams of beta alanine. So the tingles kick in and they kick in hard. They kick in comfortably. And again, if you read through all the different things here, um, there's a lot of good ingredients on here. It's almost like a, a wish list if you don't make a good product. The flavor, fresh strawberry. Okay, I give this a solid nine, and I'll tell you why. It tastes good first off on my palate, I love it. And I like to give additional quote unquote brownie points to companies that are trying something new on the flavor scale. Now yes, strawberry has been out, but I've seen it with like strawberry mango or mixed with other things. I've never seen strawberry as a stand, stand alone and the strawberries I've tried are a little bit on the sweeter side. This here, on my palate, is a little bit on the tart side. So it's a little bit of a, a shock when you hear strawberry and tart, but I enjoyed it. Mixability is great. And again, flavor, really, really good. Um, so that's all I'm going to say right now. Again, flavor is really, really good. I'm going to bring in Mr. Knucklehead here because I know you guys have been... Seeing some of the banter on Instagram, I'm going to bring in Mr. Knucklehead, and we're going to clear the air, and uh, let's see how this goes, guys. So stay tuned. Dude, before we get into our review, that Instagram post, come on, dude. I expect that from Nick. I expect that from Justin and all the people, but you, come on, dude. Uh, that's true. I'm sorry, Pumpkin Bear. Will you forgive me? Pumpkin Bear? Maybe Pumpkin yeah. Bear, but Pumpkin Bear? Yeah. It's better than Stim Wimp, right? All right, hug it out. Hug it out. All right, hug. Virtual hug. Hey, it's 2020. We got to do virtual hugs, right? <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah, uh, there we go. So let's kiss and make right, up no, here. No, no. All right. But again, I expect that from other people, but but apology accepted. Thanks. Thanks, brother. All right. So let's let's talk a bit. Let's talk about the new Arez. Okay. We're yeah. both using it. Um you know, for me, I thought the flavor was really good. I gave it a nine on the flavor scale, and I'm using the, the fresh nice. strawberry. Okay. Yeah, me too, man. I had the fresh strawberry, and I said in my review that I don't recall having a strawberry flavor. It was good to have that. It was fresh. So I enjoyed it. I gave it four and a half out of five, which is nine out of ten, just like you, bud. Um, for, now, for the other things, for, for the overall stim, I thought the 360, I'm sorry, was fine. I mean, it didn't tweak yeah. out. It was smooth. You couldn't handle 360. Dude. No, no, I was kidding. <laughs> Dude, I've used it for four times already, and I've, I've used full scoop nice. each time. I'm not going to go more there than you go. like you, 
Yeah. But no, dude, it was good. Yeah. What uh what was your rating on the overall product? You know what, between between focus and pump, and the pump was actually good. And for people to listen, my, my pumps are always hard. I thought the pump was really good. Yeah. The focus, I'd probably give this out of ten. I'd give it like a strong nine to be honest, dude. Again for me. Oh yeah? Yeah. No, that's good. Um I I my sweet spot for this was one and a four scoops. You know, I know you can't handle that, but one is one was good for a lot of people out there. One and a fourth just hit the spot. Energy lasted for hours. Focus was doubted. I had some good pumps too. Uh, on a f- one full scoop, I'm gonna give it four scoopers out of five. You bump that up to a one and a fourth, I'm gonna give it give it four and a half out of five. So eight out of ten or nine out of ten if you do that one and a fourth scoops. So so still good. I enjoyed it, man. Good taste and a good product. So one, so let's just quickly one and a quarter would probably put you at about I don't know four twenty five, maybe four forty, give or take. Yeah, for the real stim junkies out there. Oh my god! But as always, Matt, where can people find you, my friend? Uh, five minutes out reviews. Uh, I will have this video in mine. You hopefully have it in yours on Instagram. Same thing. Five minutes up reviews. And uh, as always, Pumpkin Bear, I appreciate your time. Pumpkin Bear, you're killing me. As always, Sub Talk Radio. <laughs> Matt, look forward to working with you again, my man. All right. Hey, uh, thank you. And uh, my low battery went out again. <laughs> Don't call me out on Instagram ever again, bitch. Bring it, boy. See you, pumpkin bear. <laughs> Give me all the feelings, yeah. Around me all familiar faces. Worn out places. Worn out faces.